Word incorporates many different tools you can use to edit your document. Perhaps one of the least used but most unique methods of editing your document uses the mouse entirely. In this quick tip, you discover how you can move and copy text without ever taking your hand off the mouse. You can use your mouse to move text in the same way as you would move another element, such as a graphic. To move text with your mouse, you need to first ensure that the feature is enabled. To do this, go ahead and start to display the Word Options dialog box. We click on File, and then we click on Options down here at the bottom. At the left side of the screen, we're going to click on Advanced. And the control that we want to pay attention to is this one right here. It says, allow text to be dragged and dropped. You want to make sure that that option is selected. And once it is selected, go ahead and click on the OK button. And the ability to drag and drop text using the mouse is now enabled in your system. Select the text that you want to move. For instance, let's say we want to move this text that I've selected right here. And then all we have to do is position the mouse pointer over that text. And notice that it turns into an arrow. And I'm going to click and hold the mouse button. And then I start to drag that text down to wherever I want to have it pasted. Let's say that I want it pasted right down in here. Now I haven't let go of the mouse button yet. And when I do let go of it, then that text is moved right down into that position and notice that it's still selected, so we can do additional work with it, like format it or do something else with it if we want to at this point. I'm going to go ahead and press Control z to put this text back where it was, because I want to show you a variation on how you can do this. By making one small change, you can actually copy the text instead of moving it. Now, you'll remember that I just clicked on it and dragged it down, in order to move that text. But if I wanted to copy the text, then all I have to do is hold down the control key as I click on it and start to drag. And notice what happens. You'll see that right next to that uh, mouse pointer, there's a small plus sign in the box. That means that we're copying the text instead of moving it. And again, when I let go, it is copied down there to where I let go of the mouse button. And it is still selected. The copy is selected, but the original text remains where it was. Now, there's another way that you can move text uh, that involves using the mouse with this control key again. Let's say that we wanted to move this text right up here, uh, this one sentence that we've highlighted up here. If I wanted to move that down to the end of this paragraph uh, down here, then all I would have to do is hold down the control key as I right click. And when I did that, did you see that it moved it right down there? It, it just moved that text down below. Now, now, don't confuse that with what we did a few moments ago. You'll remember that I held down the control key as I dragged that selected text to a new location and that uh, copied it down. This time, we selected the text, and then I held down the control key as I right-clicked at the new location where I wanted it moved. Although this difference may seem to be a little bit subtle, the editing effect on your document is quite different. So there you have it, easy ways that you can use the mouse to edit your document to either move or copy text that you need to move within that document. If you enjoyed this quick tip, be sure to click the subscribe button just below this video. Also, click the bell icon so that YouTube will let you know when new videos are added to the WordTips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.